Hello together. This small example will show you how to create a small Windows Forms apps uh, and how to add a database or connect a local database to this application. It's written in Windows Forms but it's also uh, the same with WPF in uh, Microsoft Visual Studio. So uh, we have here uh, in this example a database, a list file and we may add a new uh, a new item to a table. So behind this list there is a table, a database. That's what we see here on the left point and we are able to uh, to, to, uh, to add a new data set and we are able to delete a data set and we will also be able to update a sentence or a, a row of a data set. So <coughs> now we are starting from the blank point. Uh, we create a new database, a new project, and inside this project there's a file new project, and we have two uh, possibilities here under Visual C Sharp Windows Classic Desktop. There's a Windows Forms or WPF. Uh, in nearly the same as in Universal Windows app uh, platform app, but SQL Server is uh, not, I'm not sure if it's available. Um, in the meantime, it's available, but uh, for this moment we work with classic desktop apps, which are also able to run on the Windows uh, Server application, so like a, uh, <coughs> like software uh, for uh, Robo task or for something like this. Now we have uh, we create that point, Windows Forms, DB database test zero two zero three for example in English without uh, empty space. We create the Windows Forms app, but as I said, it's also the same in um, WPF. Now we have this small uh, form. And for this form, um, when we uh, we will um, add at the first point um, a label, a list box. Let's take a list box on here, and we take a small label above there. We say, okay, this is my table, and as you have seen, we need some buttons and we need a text box small text box where we set a new value or uh, loop through that values and we need a button here a button so that's the point now we go to the properties and in the properties we give uh, we say okay we need one for adding a, um, a record to the database button add button add then we need one uh, to delete button delete that record delete <coughs> and we need one which does uh, update and this is just for as an example, but uh, you may do it in a better way on other events. So this is button update. And this is our text box. Let's say this is my text box uh, entry or input. Yeah, text box item. Let's say item. Now input. And this is my list. Let's say this is my list of, uh, in this case, I take list of cars. And this is a cars. Mm. List database with cars, for example. Uh, not valid, uh, so not name, a list, a list cars, that's, um, where are we, at the label, 
label cars and written there is database with cars okay um, and now we save it and first to, uh, what we do if we add that point we need here in uh, our project we go there and say add and then we need a new item and in new items we go to data and we find a service based no not a service service based database data set an empty SQL server database for service based data access data set for using we need this one and we say this is db cars for example database with cars now it's creating now here it comes it's a Microsoft database format and when you double click on it you will see that uh, the SQL Server uh, as a pane will uh, op open there and then we have here tables, views, uh, store procedures and I won't go too deep in that point but we have uh, tables are like Excel sheets a view is only a small amount of selected uh, rec uh, rows and stored procedures and all that stuff is not that important at the moment now we go to tables and as you see it's empty we say we need a new table now when we say we need a new table <coughs> it opens a designer design of table and every table should have an ID field as a running number uh, increasing number so this is ID of a car uh, and then we have the car itself and the car itself will be uh, labeled in nvarcar uh, nvar um, with a number so this it means this is a, a string which is either empty for n is for null and a variable uh, amount of text uh, text uh, characters so if it, I take take their uh, BMW, then we have three uh, characters, or I take a new one uh, with which is empty. And the uh, the first row with the uh, with the key on there, primary key, is when we go there and say here with uh, on the front uh, block um, properties. In properties we will find here identity selection if you double click on here on is identity double click on it then you will see that it's uh, changing to true and the identity increment is one and it it starts at one so when we start there table will say okay uh, number one is BMW number two is an Audi or Chevrolet and three is something else and that's below there we see tsql this is a transact a sql server um, uh, um, execute commands <coughs> written in string that's quite easy and it will create um, the, the, the stuff there the design stuff will is not the real stuff which is happening that's uh, beautiful for the people to uh, to watch it and handle it but in uh, when they started they made a script uh, language and the script language is always made like this one it's, uh, only five let's say five main uh, commands so it says create table and we say here uh, create table which is called tbl cars and for my working tables i say uh, that's my uh, preset or pre uh, characters we say it's a table it's not a selected uh, view or something like this and subscreen uh, is here for um, uh, so it r uh, sorts up in the in top of all tables so this is all working stuff and the base stuff and system tables uh, will be at the lower part so we say when we run this when we run this uh, in a SQL server then the table will be created now what we do in 
Visual Studio with this small sub view of uh, SQL Server uh, is we're not saving here at uh, the script. We update the script and the script runs preparing update script. It, it runs inside the table. So there's DBO means database object table SQL Server. So okay, generate that script. No, we didn't uh, just update the database. So it's running there. And that's good. So when I close it again. It needs a little bit of time. I don't know why this is it's always the same. Now, when I go up uh, again in this point, update it, then we see the data taste table, and we're able to show table data. And when we go there, we will say, okay, let's take this my BMW, and this is my Chevy, and you see there as soon as I leave the row there's a new the ID is automatically set and increased so now we are at that point and 